A very good morning to you. Thank you for tuning in. This is your daily encounter. We welcome you to uh, like, comment, and um, share this page that you might reach many. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we honor you and we give you glory. Bless us even as we continue sharing in the systematic study uh, of the gospel according to St. Mark. Bless us and be with us. Thank you for all who have tuned in. May you bless us and be with us. Please we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We have come to the end of the month of January. Today is uh, day three of week one of our continuous systematic study of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Mark. In Mark chapter number one, verses nine to thirteen, Mark narrates of the baptism and temptation of Jesus Christ in the wilderness. As you would note with St. Matthew and Luke in the systematic uh, gospel, they introduced to us Jesus before, uh, you know, he was born, uh, his uh, young life, and uh, of course, uh, his prevailing circumstances uh, under King Herod, and of course, his childhood and early life in the temple until now to his baptism and temptation Unlike St. Mark, or whom we are studying, uh, who now introduces to us uh, Jesus, who is an adult, that he is, and ready for active ministry. The baptism and temptation of Christ forms the foundation and preparedness for his ministry. That is over what he would encounter and overcome later in his ministry and life here on earth. Uh, as we talk about the theme, Preparations for God's assignment, as we can see it in the baptism and temptation of Jesus Christ. Allow me to uh, reflect on the, you know, uh, Malcolm X, that is the American uh, human rights activist, who said that uh, the future belongs to those who prepare for it today. And so we see much preparation in this text. St. Mark is bringing us uh, so much preparations in, uh, through uh, Jesus, uh, you know, baptism and uh, uh, his 40 days and 40 nights of uh, fast that now gives him the foundation and stamina to push on and to continue with his ministry. And so there are a few pointers to the preparation of Jesus Christ for his ministry that we can perhaps borrow uh, from this uh, text. That is Mark chapter 1, uh, verses 9 following. And the very first one is baptism. And so God makes it clear that this ragged wilderness preacher by the name John the Baptist is the fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy. But how did John prepare the way for the Lord and make his path straight? His uh, nickname, of course, John the Baptist, gives us a clue. Remember in our previous, uh, uh, actually yesterday, we were checking on uh, the gospel. Uh, that is uh, on how God used uh, John the Baptist to prepare the way. And so John the Baptist beckoned the Jewish people to repent of their sins and be baptized. An act that outwardly demonstrated the inward dedication of their lives to God through immersion in water. And so uh, allow me to take you back to our revised catechism. Uh, you know, question number 40 that asks, uh, that, uh, you know, pose a question to us. What is baptism? And uh, the response is that, uh, you know, uh, baptism uh, you know, is uh, through the action, is, is an act through which the action of the Holy Spirit, we are, you know, buried with Christ and arise to new life in Him. And so in this, we can get to understand that our baptism is a pertinent issue in each one of us, you know, in every one of us. And so it makes the basic uh, foundation for us, just like, uh, you know, St. Mark gives it to us. And number two, uh, we find of uh, a preparation in terms of God's approval. Look at verse 10. As soon as Jesus came out of the water, he, you know, he saw heaven opening and the spirit coming down on him like a dove. The greatest tragedy that can befall any believer is to set off or begin God's work without his approval, affirmation, confirmation in whichever way. And so God affirms his son and assured him of his blessing and he carries out his assignment. This is what God says, that this is my son in whom I am well pleased. 
Well, we all need that voice. We all need that sign, that whisper, that indeed we have God's blessings as we carry out assignments at work. So in our businesses, at home, in the community, in, in the nation, and more so in the church and in the ministry of God, we need God's approval as a foundation, as a way of preparation for God's assignment. And of course, lastly, is on sacrifice. In verses 12, St. Mark says that at once the Spirit made him go into the desert where he stayed 40 days being tempted by Satan. You will not, or rather you will note that it is common with St. Mark. He does not describe the three temptations. <laughs> he, he doesn't. He is simply telling us that, you know, the Spirit of the Lord took Jesus into the wilderness. Uh, and as we know, you know, of course, we can trace them in the Gospel of Mark uh, and Luke, whereby we know the three temptations. Uh, but again, this is because Mark is hurrying us to get us to the ultimate sacrifice that is guarantees of our salvation. That is the sacrifice at the cross. And so like God gave his all, his only son, Jesus, we ought to offer ourselves as living sacrifice worthy before the Lord. And so remember that these three, baptism, God's approval and sacrifice will help us prepare for God's assignment as brought to us and to our light from the lenses of St. Max in the baptism temptation of Jesus Christ. And so, brethren, this is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Remember that God loves you. Have yourself a wonderful day. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. 